Good evening and welcome to St. Cyprius. Today we are celebrating the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Father George, assisted by Deacon Nancy and Deacon George. The intention for today's Mass is to take the The opening hymn is number 416, Church of God, Elected Boys. We kindly ask everyone to turn off the cell phone so as not to interrupt our celebration.
O God, who manifest your almighty power above all by turning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to Moses. Taking some of the spirit that was on Moses, the Lord bestowed it on the seventy elders, and as the Spirit came to rest on them, they prophesied. Now two men, one named Eldad and the other Medad, were not in the gathering, but had been left in the camp. They too had been on the list, but had not yet gone out to the tent. Yet the Spirit came to rest on them also, and they prophesied in the camp. So when a young man quickly told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. Joshua, son of Nun, who for <coughs> you had been Moses' aide, said, Moses, my lord, stop them. But Moses answered him, Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the people of the Lord were prophets. Would that the Lord might bestow his spirit on them all. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your gold and silver have corroded, 
and that corrosion will be a testimony against you. It will devour your flesh like a fire. You have stored up treasure for the last days. Behold, the wages you withheld from the workers who harvested your fields are crying aloud, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on earth in luxury and pleasure. You have fattened your hearts for the day of slaughter. You have condemned, you have murdered the righteous one. He offers you no resistance. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. This is all very normal. 
whenever we go someplace or whenever we meet some important person or some person we consider important, it just seems to be human nature that we want some reminder, some memento of that encounter. In the Gospels and throughout the New Testament, we often hear of Jesus giving us all a very wonderful memento. A memento so wonderful and so powerful that it not only reminds us of his presence, but actually is his presence. And this is, of course, the Eucharist, the body and blood of Christ. In the Eucharist, Christ remains with us in a unique way. Through his body and blood, he continues to nourish, to strengthen, and encourage us, just as he did his closest disciples many centuries ago. In the Eucharist and in the other sacraments, we continue to remember, we celebrate, and we believe God's great love for us. We must always remember to cherish and to appreciate this most precious and wonderful gift. We are all called to be servants. And one of the special servants of God and of the church is our patron, St. Cyprian. Now for the past several years as a parish, we have moved our local commemoration of St. Cyprian from September 16th, the day he shares with St. Cornelius, to the last weekend of, in September. Now St. Cyprian was a great example of a servant of the church. Born about the year 200 in Carthage, Cyprian was reared in a pagan household. He was in the privileged class. He received an excellent education, became an expert orator, and was wealthy. When he was about 40 years old, Cyprian became disheartened by the immorality and the corruption he saw throughout his homeland. He felt a major transformation in Christ, sold much of his property, gave his money to the poor, and was baptized into the church. In rapid succession, Cyprian advanced through holy orders, deacon, priest, bishop. Besides feeding his people with food and sacraments, Cyprian also used his great academic skills to prepare several theological treatises, many of which are still available to us. These, in a real way, are the souvenirs he left for us. Of particular importance is the excellent treatise he wrote on the unity of the church, and especially the one he wrote on the Lord's Prayer, which examines this prayer line by line. Cyprian's writings were also connected to his pastoral ministry. And this is where a most famous quote from his work on the unity of the church comes up. And it's often in times of our, our, our banner, our symbol for this parish. And the quote is, you cannot have God as your father if you do not have the church as your mother. By church, Cyprian saw the, the, the church was a community of love and faith and respect and faithfulness. Cyprian was also a feisty saint, not afraid to even argue face to face with popes. We would do well to consider the example of our patron and servant Cyprian. Back in 1994, 27 years ago, in the 12th year of my diaconate, I came to St. Cyprian as a stranger to most. Now, in my 40th year as a deacon, I hope 
I can leave this parish as a friend. I'm well aware of many special and precious mementos that service in this parish has given to me. The privilege to have served with the deacon for the past 27 years has indeed been a tremendous blessing to me my, and to my family. During the past, and I thank God for having led me here. During the past several weeks, I have been spending a lot of quiet time alone just walking around the church and the parish grounds, remembering, reflecting on, and relishing the many wonderful memories I have. I remember the times of joy and happiness I was to share with many of you. I remember the sadness and grief, including my own. I had a chance to share with some. I remember the baptisms I was lucky enough to celebrate. I remember the weddings I officiated at, the funerals I assisted or preached at. I remember the many wonderful communions and confirmations. I remember being touched and moved very deeply by many of our liturgical celebrations. Quite frankly, there were even times I got so involved in the spirit of the liturgy that I forgot what to do. <laughs> but anyway, these are just some of the mementos you left with me. And I will always remember and cherish them in them, you will always be in me. In letting me share in your lives so personally, I sincerely feel I have been blessed to be allowed to enter into your holy places. And my life will forever be enriched spiritually. I would like to thank in a special way Father George and all the staff past and present. Father Alexander, Father Patton, Deacons Jay, Paul, and George. Isn't there a Ringo somewhere in that? <laughs> <laughs> also, Rose Stash, Dorothy Noga, and all the parish and PSR staff. When I was a child, my father often told me that whatever I do in life, wherever I go, that I should try to make a difference for the better. Well, I hope this can be said from my time here. But I also realize that if anything I said or did let someone closer to God or help them better deal with a hurt or fear, that it really wasn't me, but the Lord working through me. On the other hand, if what I have said or done over the past 27 years has alienated or offended, please accept my sincerest apology. Realize, too, that this wasn't the Lord, but was his very less than perfect ministry. So I end this chapter of my life and look forward to a new future. I bid you farewell for now. I promise to always remember you in my prayers, and I ask that you remember my family and me in your prayers. I will be back to this home of mine from time to time. So goodbye, and God bless you.
believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and in the Amen. For our sake he was crucified on the conscious Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With trust in God, who delights to give us all good things, let us offer our prayers to Him. For Pope Francis, may God preserve his health as he meets the church in wisdom and love. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials, may God bless them with integrity and protecting the dignity of life, especially the aged and the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For those weighed down by sin, may God give them courage in repenting and a grace to trust in his mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, marked by the sign of faith, and we remember in a special way at this Mass, Kenneth Clark and Pernell, Dick Kish, for whom this Mass is offered, and also I remember Bishop Anthony Pillow, whose funeral will be Tuesday, and also all those who have died in the service of our country, service of the church and the service of each other. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. And especially we pray for our Deacon Andy. He first to say thanks to God for his blessed time he's serving in our parish and ask God for a special blessing for second part of his serving in our parish. <laughs> and special blessing to his family too. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. In your mercy, please hear and answer our prayers this day according to your holy will. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please join our presentation, hymn number 364, See us, Lord, above the altar.
has, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless my God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine of work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Bless me, God. To humble us with the compact heart will be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice beside this day pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters of my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 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 Praise the glory of the Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as it our end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Edward our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially remember the fish for whom we pray at this Mass, and also Bishop Anthony Pirla, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, but with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and
May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Your attitude is nothing but to just remind what we do like each week. It's Tuesday, all day adoration from the Blessed Sacrament, and Divine Mercy Chaplet, and serving the evening Rosar prayer. And we are beginning uh, October 4th and 5th our PSR teaching classes. And just remind you who not yet registered, it means who are new, because uh, students who already did it last year they don't, they didn't, uh, don't have to re register, just like new students who have to register. And uh, youth ministry will also is uh, in, uh, now active, it means uh, tomorrow is youth group bonfire. You can see this in our schedule. And uh, RCIA, I call that some candidates will be same time of PSR on Monday. And also we have, a just remind you, after a few years of a break, our St. Cyprian is awarded in a reverse raffle after Mass, after each Mass and the weekend Mass, you can sell tickets and also in the uh, morning after the Mass, our office is open during a weekday, you can also uh, sell tickets. And the choir invite new members to join the choir, you can see in the bulletin Wednesday, September 29 at 6 p.m. Uh, everybody who wants to join as a new member of our choir, please join for this. And uh, brothers and sisters, uh, what Gun Andy said, like is 27, the number is 7, <laughs> this is special <laughs> numbers, he's serving. What exactly we are like celebrating is, I can't say like parallel, because from the official I said from the beginning, this is by official assignment, he ended his his service officially in our world, but his private assignment, he's continuing our work. So he's, he's, he, he's open to, to serve like, I'm not sure like that uh, before, but, but he, he will, because he, he has to, he has to. <laughs> and what uh, he reminds what we celebrate like each uh, year, last weekend of uh, September, Feast of our parish, St. Cyprian Parish, and what he mentioned about uh, our, our patron, and if you compare the situation from the Holy Scripture, especially from first, first reading, what is, uh, like in my opinion, Deacon Andy took some uh, spirit from St. Cyprian, our patron. For sure, everything what St. Cyprian did, but not wish him what uh, St. Cyprian did as an Andy. <laughs> <laughs> We not wishing that you'll be martyr. <laughs> May it martyr by serving in our territory. <laughs> I know that it's not, but uh, he he lives like in the spirit of Saint Cyprian and the special spirit of, of God. What we really thank thanks to him for this service for everything what he did until this time and as God for special grace and blessing for him that he continue everything with us, for us, with the same spirit. <laughs> but it may be not that spirit. That's so often. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks again and thank many blessing to uh, Archdeacon Andy because he's like senior deacon, so the Archdeacon Andy. And we pray like each uh, weekend during ending Mass, extra hail Mary. Pray for our parish, because it's uh, our feast, but in a special way for our deacons, but a really special way for our parish deacon. And we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.